Hello guys, in this video we are going to look at how to set up Xdebug in our Docker Compose containers. To show you that, I'm going to use Magento and PHP Storm. We are going to install Xdebug in our PHP container. If we look at our Docker Compose file, you can see I've set up the extra host option. This will map host gateway to host docker.internal host name. If I go to my .env file, you can see I've set up the ID configuration. And the main thing to notice here is the xdebug remote port. I've set this to 9003 because I'm using my PHP proxy path at 9, port 9000. I have to use 9000, port 9003 as my xdebug remote port. Next, if I go to my PHP 8.1 docker file, here I can, you can see I've installed the xdebug in the PHP container using the PCA libraries. And if I scroll down a little bit, you can see I've copied the xdebug ini file to the container xdebug ini location. And if you look at our xdebug ini file, you can see I've installed the xdebug extension and then my remote port is 9003 and I will also have the client host set up for host.docker.internal file. My configuration client host is equal to what we set up in the Docker Compose file PHP container extra host options. You can choose your log file location. This will become handy when you are debugging xdebug itself. I've also set up the dip xdebug mode to develop debug mode. Next, if I go to PHP storm settings, PHP debug, I've set up the xdebug port to 9003, which is equal to what we set up in our config file. Then go to servers, add a new server. I've set up my host name and the port which is equal to what I've set up in my docker compose environment file. Next we need to map our files directory to absolute path on my PHP container. In my files directory you can, you can see I can only see apps folder. This is because I've exclude some of the directories from indexing in my PHP storm. So if I close my folder structure, you can see they are all orange because I've set these folders to exclude from indexing. I don't need these directories to get indexed because they are not important for my project. So I have everything set up now. I'm going to create a back point in one of my controller and then we can start our debug process. It's always good to set up break at first line in PHP script so it will stop running the debug process when it reaches the breakpoint. Click on the start listening for PHP debug connection icon. This will start the listening to PHP connection. I'm going back to my admin controller and refresh. This will start debugging. Now if I skip to the back point I want, here I can see all the code execution for this controller. Index.php holds the run method in bootstrap.php. With debugger, you can chase whole execution chain for your admin controller. It also records all of your variables within this chain. As a developer, one thing to note is make sure you know when to choose xdebugger. 90% of the time, I don't use xdebugger for debugging code, but there is a time when you can't find out the issue and you really need to know the variables in the system I use xdebugger. Hope this video helps you to set up xdebugger in your docker container. That's it for this video. Make sure to like my videos and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.